check out weather today. Minus 5 degrees. This winter is way too long. <laughs> okay, morning duties first. I have to bring those packages to the support center for refugees and kids to the school and then back to here. I would like to compare both machines, how, how faster, if it is faster, 16 inches than M1, but I have to fix my projects first. Minus seven, crazy. Gas prices. Crazy. Almost. Oh, it's broken. Almost two euros. That's crazy. Okay, I'm grabbing coffee. I already filled my gas tank yesterday for <laughs> relatively cheap price. <laughs> there should be refugees help center. Let's See. So, plenty of bag here. We have pasta, we have canned meat, we have baby food, all of that going to the refugee Okay, back to work. <laughs> that was a crazy long day. I found myself streaming for about 10 hours today or even a little bit more. So yeah, that was nice stream on Twitch. I did a lot of things done, but back to our topic. I wanted to test those machines side by side. So basically here I have, that is M1 MacBook Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Basically, if you are looking for re relatively cheap or affordable machine for programming, I highly suggest you to get M1 machine. Not MacBook Pro, I had reasons why I chose this machine, but basically Air is a price performance more effective machine. I have base M1 Pro machine with 16 gigabytes of RAM. I only upgraded SSD to one terabyte because 512 is kind of okay, but I would like to have a little bit more space. So base model of M1 Pro 16 inch MacBook costs about two and a half thousand. So let's try to figure out if that twice more, more than twice more expensive machine is twice better than this one. I'm spending most of my days in Xcode and I will basically build the same project on both machines. So I will try to start project as, as smoothly as possible, but I will run more uh, accurate test after that as well, just to check speed build on both machines. Okay. Okay, building. I will put timer on the screen. So, yeah, there is leader, of course, 200, 300 already built. And I can see that here we have full kind of processor load is more full. Build succeeded here already. Launching simulator, still building here. Application launching here. Build succeeded. Hooray, Application is launched here. Still launching simulator. Launching simulator. <laughs> and. And. Still launching. <laughs> it is done. So. There is, of course, difference. As you may see, this machine is faster. Let's try now without launching on simulator. Let's again clear, clean the product and I will run kind of build, only build and then we will be able to see exact time how much build will take. So clean finish it, clean finish it. So now I will just hit clean uh, command build to build project and then we will see uh, how much time exactly is spent on each machine just to build without launching uh, application on the simulator. And that will allow to us compare how big difference exactly that is. 
even if we are maybe thinking that I didn't hit exactly at the same time on both buttons, this test will show exact numbers. How build succeed already here, 20.49 seconds, that is 20 and half second for build on this machine. And here we have 28.7 seconds. So that is eight and a half seconds more here. So is that make a difference? Uh, yes, on bigger projects. Okay, let's open another project. So in this project we have plenty of, of heap files, plenty of storyboards, also a little bit of Swift UI. I started to add Swift UI as well, so let's try to see how much time will take to build this project. And also we can assume that on that machine that project will take about one third more time. So everyone have different needs, but already we see that that free diving application that is kind of small side project, but it is, I would say, biggest of any kind of uh, tutorial project what you will build. So if you are just learning development, so you will not build anything bigger than that project. And that project already was built in 20 seconds. Today we had discussion on the stream when we are discussed that how important it is on beginning to have the best the best possible hardware. I would say it is not because usually you have more time than money and basically you can use whatever you have. Marco on stream one friend said that he wanted for 20 to 30 minutes on first builds when he was learning development because his device was very crappy. So <laughs> based on that you can build on almost anything. So this build is finished, it was 61 seconds, basically one minute. If that will be one third more here, so that will be one minute and 20 seconds. So it is already a significant difference. And that project is not the biggest possible project. That is kind of already medium sized project. If you are just starting, that will be plenty to do whatever you need, to learn development, to start freelancing, basically anything. For me, kind of why I upgraded, for me, most important thing was GPU, kind of uh, video processing power, because I am streaming day-to-day -day life on Twitch, and this machine can't handle. It is not powerful enough to stream and code at the same time. It will be deadly slow, it will be very bad experience. You can try, but better there are other better solutions you can get a relatively cheap pc use it at streaming pc and then program on your mac that will work much better or throw money to that problem and get more powerful machine m1 pro is great m1 max will be even better for streaming and programming if you just printing money just then get mac studio <laughs> and that will be awesome is it worth upgrade if you are not streaming and not editing video? Again, yes and no. If you don't have money, if you don't earn money yet, forgot about upgrades, M1 is a great machine. Get M1 Mini, you will be covered for years ahead and no problems. Just, I <laughs> beg you, <laughs> get 16 gigabytes of RAM. Do not buy cheapest one with uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM. But, um, I see that it was a good decision to upgrade because I have more ports, I have connect to monitors, it was important for me, there is card reader, it is important for me, I will finish record this video, will plug card in it and will start editing. For me that was <laughs> great investment, I had to wait for 89 days to get this machine delivered, but I am happy that I decided to get this machine and not... 14 inch which I could get a little bit faster. If you are interested about that story, <laughs> how I was waiting and I, why I was waiting for 90 days, I have a video about that, check that out. Check out that video and also I have a video about programming on very old machine, on 2013 MacBook Air. I will plug, plug that video as well. So, okay, thank you for watching, bye bye.